Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Right now, I want to get into some Blackpink tea. I love having tea with my girls, y'all my girls. There's apparently a new TV show that Blackpink is a part of, and we are going to talk about that. And also, the controversy surrounding that, because you know there's some controversy when Blackpink does anything. We also have Jenny kissing a special little thing. I want to get into that. That is something 100% super cute and adorable, and I think you guys will like it. So let's get into the tea. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave a hate comment, please make sure to subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's get into it. Now, I have a bit of a rant to go on with Blackpink since their comeback. First of all, there seems to be a huge lack of support with Blackpink this time around with their new comeback, and I don't understand why. The music video on the song to me is like really catchy and fun, and it seems to be getting a lot of hate. And a lot of the hates are coming from Blackpink fans. And it's like, okay, you can not like the song, but if you truly support the girls, then just support the girls. Every now and then an artist will have a song that you probably don't like and that's fine. There's no reason to get super mad about it. But also I personally can't understand why you would hate it. Like the girls, they look stunning. The song is good in my opinion. So to go as far as to hate Blackpink or to attack Blackpink for this comeback, I don't understand. I don't understand. If you don't like it, please let me know. I'm very curious as to why you don't like it. There's comments like ice cream wasn't good or that people specifically hate the music video. Personally, I find the song very catchy and it's very much on brand with their previous music. So if you like their old music, you should like this one too. I don't get why people hate it. Is it because Selena Gomez is in it? And that's kind of messed up if you ask me. Is it because it's completely in English? I personally cannot answer these questions because I do not have the answer to the T. But obviously with the recent backlash of their song, it has spilled into some other Blackpink, shall we say, endeavors. They recently have a TV program called 24365 with Blackpink. Now there is speculation that they might actually have another reality show and that that might be happening but people aren't very sure and I don't want to talk about it unless I have enough information on it. But basically if you are unaware, Blackpink has this show 24365 and the title of the show was actually picked out by Lisa by Blinks on their Instagram poll. So I mean that alone we should stand. But each episode kind of talks about the behind the scenes stuff of Blackpink. What they are doing and they're doing too much shall I say. It shows stuff that they're doing anyway so I never feel like they are doing something specifically for the episode, they're just recording things that they would be doing nonetheless. Things like talking about their new comeback, dance rehearsals, eating lunch, or even playing like small fun games. There was even this hilarious moment where the girls had to ride go-karts and chew ice. Which, by the way, I have no problem doing. I literally chew on ice every day, so I would be great at this challenge. But I will say, even in pain, the girls are so cute. I personally can't relate. If I was in pain, I would not be looking cute. My face turns red even in the slightest amount of pain. Now, a lot of the same people who didn't like ice cream seem to also think that 24365 with Blackpink is boring. This is hard for me to hear, as Blackpink so rarely puts out content, whether that's music, videos, anything. And when they do, this is the response they get. What's going to encourage them from making content in the future now? Blinks are kind of asking other Blinks to please stream the music video even if they didn't like it. And also to ignore 24365. One person actually did come to Blackpink's defense and they wrote this over on the Tweetster. I still hate how Blinks complain about not getting content and then proceed to call Blackpink House and Blackpink 24365 boring. So true. How are you going to constantly protest for more videos and more things from Blackpink but then not like the things that they put out? Then why are you even asking for them? And then to completely say that it's boring and that you dislike it. I mean, it's one thing to dislike 24365, but you can't dislike the music video too, you know? This is what the girls need your support for. I was seeing comments like this kind of involving the music. I wish Ice Cream Lyrics was different. Hate its sexual innuendos. If I didn't love Blackpink, I would stop listening to this. Blackpink don't ever collab with Ariana. Overrated. I love my OT7 and don't want them to be disrespected with songs like these. Composers are liable. Okay, like every song has some sort of sexual reference, especially if there's a girl group. I mean, they dance provocatively. They usually tend to wear less clothes on stage. I think that's fine. Girl, you do you. It's how it's always been. And of course, this also feels very disrespectful to any group that Blackpink would ever work with or any solo artist that Blackpink would ever work with. To tell Blackpink to never work with that artist, this to me thinks that the majority of the hate of ice cream has to be because of Selena, which is so messed up. If you can't support the artist that Blackpink chooses to collab with, then you don't support Blackpink because they are collabing with one, people that they like, and two, they're also collaborating with people who are going to help them, help Blackpink spread their name more in America. Selena is huge in America. This is a huge opportunity for Blackpink. All super important things. Reading comments like this would hurt them and their chances with working with other American artists. 
Imagine Ariana, who is huge in America. Huge. Reading those comments, she may decide, you know what, I don't want to work with Blackpink anymore. Just due to the amount of controversy online that surrounds anyone that Blackpink collabs with. If you think Blackpink does something that's not great, don't talk about it. There's no reason to hate or say something online if you don't like it. Move on and just let it be. It doesn't change anything when you say you don't like it. Why call 24365 boring? It's not not going to be boring just because you called it that. The theme of the show is the behind the scenes and then also showing them playing games. If you're someone who finds those things boring, there's nothing they can do about that. Like if you only listen to country music and then find Blackpink's music boring, what are they gonna do? Make country music? You see how there's no point in saying that it's boring and that you don't like it? Giving constructive criticism on the other hand, that's a whole other thing. That is something we welcome here. Those are warranted, send those over. And that's what I try to do here, especially with Blackpink and all that stuff. I try to have a conversation here. I try to give something constructive so that we can improve as people. One of the behind the scenes moment that was talked about, a lot was a moment in ice cream with Jenny. Now in my reaction video to ice cream, there was a scene where Jenny was with an animal and I think I called the animal that Jenny interacted with a guinea pig, a very large guinea pig. And of course, as someone pointed out, I was wrong. It is apparently called a capybara, which I then went on an internet rampage to find more information about this and how this is the cutest animal I've ever seen. This is the cutest little thing. I love them so much. Apparently this is her favorite animal and she talks about how much she loves them. And when she was introduced to them on set, her happiness went way up. She like ran up to them and was so excited to meet them and pet them and all that stuff. And it looks like they were so excited to meet our queen as well. They all started coming near Jenny and they let her pet them. These are considered very docile and kind animals. They don't tend to bite and they're usually very friendly. She continued by asking how the animals were all so cute and that she was really glad to finally be able to meet them. She really seemed like she was in love, like she should really be gifted one to take care of. I think she would do such a great job. I bet she would be an amazing mom. And you can tell how much they like her and they like that she is petting them. She also has those long acrylic nails so those scratches must be amazing and of course she was able to step into the cage and really get up and close and personal with them they all literally just came right to her because that's what you do to our queen she started kissing one of them and it was just so beautiful cue the love music get you someone that looks at you like jenny looks at these animals i also didn't realize there were so many of them in the behind the scenes i suppose this was just in case that one of them was asleep or one of them was uncontrollable they have many to kind of switch them out with i don't believe in the actual music video there was a scene where a lot of them were all together. I could be wrong, but I think it was just one scene with Jenny and one capybara. Jenny started imitating their facial expressions. And can I say Jenny looks cute? I've never seen her this cute before. Her face literally lights up when she sees this animal. Please, someone bring her a capybara next time she is stressed. I bet you she will feel so much better. I wanted to see what other people were saying over on the tweetster. One person said, Jenny with capybara is the cutest thing you'll see today. Maybe even in my life. Literally seeing her this happy, it makes my day. I love seeing my wife happy. What kind of husband would I be if I didn't like when she was happy? I would never be such. One person pretty much also wrote how they have been feeling or thinking. They said, God, please don't ever separate Jenny and her capybara. And that is what I'm saying. Like never separate the two. In fact, let's have the capybara join Blackpink. Can we get a petition for this? It will be so amazing. I bet those capybara vocals, oof, they'll go amazing on a track. It can also be the face of the next album. It would do so well, I bet. Definitely one of the cutest things I have ever seen. And I feel blessed in all my souls to be able to witness this type of love. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for playing content. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I upload a lot of reaction videos over there, things that you can't really see over here due to copyright and things like that. So I do put it over on my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, it's linked in the top of the description down below. There's reaction videos like music videos, performances, ship reactions, all that stuff. You can also request reactions that you would like to see. Please make sure to check it out. Also, anything you contribute over there really helps kind of give back to this channel and help me make better videos. So I do appreciate you going ahead and check that out. With that said, there's also two videos that will appear on the screen at the end of the video. Click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.